this is what happens when you try to stream and you try to make the settings so that your stream is clear and it doesn't look good. So I'm gonna start this quick. Hopefully, I always gotta look at this thing. Hopefully this works. We shall see. If it's frozen, let me know or send me a message. I appreciate you guys sending me a message to let me know that it's working. And again, I don't see my, uh, I don't see my little chat window. So we'll see. I get nervous now if I don't see the chat window. Anyway, so this little character I made, I just now made in, in Nomad. I actually recorded the whole thing, but uh, obviously it didn't really work. So I'm going to try to bring this into Forger because I know that it won't go into Nomad. But we can try to bring it over into Nomad. Let me just tell my producer that I'm, I'm actually trying... See how it goes. So we'll, we'll see. Let me make sure this is clear. What is this blue? Oh, that's fine. Okay, so let's see if let's see if we can export this. I just like to try it. I mean, I know it's not going to work, but I just like to try it. So that didn't work. I didn't I didn't expect it to work. But let's see if we can export this into Forger. Forger Classic. Will it go or will it not? Uh, what is all this stuff? Um, what is the, what is all this? Get out of here. Let me try that again. Export OBJ Forger Classic Sculpting. Oh, oh autosave has been disabled for this scene as it would take longer to save when the app moves to background than iOS allows it. Remember that saving manually. Oh, okay, so I think it's here. I gotta get rid of this thing. How do I get rid of this stupid one? I gotta hold everything down and delete. I wish I could just delete all this at once. Okay, so, oh wow, well, this worked. It came in. Now if I could get to it. Okay, so that worked. So successfully brought into Forger. Oh, now if I can remember how I, you hit the Dropbox looking icon. And then I think it was here. Generate automatic UVs. Successful. All right, so Let me try to send it as a UV model. Uh, call him Mouthy because he's got a big mouth. Export. There he is. There's Mouthy. He's a little like. I wish I would have made that like smoother. make them purple. I feel like I make everything purple. Okay, so I don't know if this is even streaming. 
because I still don't see my, I bet you it's frozen again. So I'm gonna make this quick because I have a feeling that it might be frozen again. So let me just try to color this in. So it would be really cool if I could bring in like different sections and just color them in, actually. Or actually if I color it in the other apps and then bring it in and add details. I think that would be the best thing because it is kind of hard to color, you know, like just the eyes and things like that. That does get kind of difficult. Like you can do cool things, but it would definitely be easier to, I think, to color them in the other apps. Because it does get a, a bit messy. tries to color everything. Yeah, it does get a little messy. It would be easier to color it on Nomad. So actually that's what I should try to do. Let's see if I can erase this. Yeah, I can erase this layer, so that's cool. I can erase all this extra paint that went everywhere. Okay, so this worked. Very simple sculpt. So I'm going to end this because I'm not sure if this is frozen, and then I'm going to color this in Nomad and see if I can bring it over with certain things already colored. That way I can just add the details. So let's see how this works.